Did you know that the average American spends over seven hours a day looking at a screen? That's almost a full work day every single day. But what if all this screen time is actually harming our mental health? To date, we're diving into the complex relationship between anxiety and technology and how we can find a healthier balance. In our hyper-connected world, technology is both a blessing and a curse. On one hand, it offers convenience, entertainment, and connection. On the other, it can lead to increased anxiety, stress, and a constant feeling of being overwhelmed. But how do we navigate this digital landscape without sacrificing our mental health? Understanding the impact of screen time. Subsection, the science behind screen time and anxiety. Excessive screen time has been linked to increased anxiety and stress. Research shows that constant exposure to digital devices can overstimulate our brains leading to higher levels of cortisol, the stress hormone. This can result in symptoms like restlessness, irritability, and difficulty sleeping. Moreover, blue light from screens can disrupt our circadian rhythm, making it harder to fall asleep and stay asleep, which can further exacerbate anxiety. The role of social media. Social media platforms, while connecting us with others, can also contribute to feelings of inadequacy and anxiety. The constant comparison to others, cyberbullying, and the pressure to maintain a perfect online persona can take a toll on our mental health. Studies have shown that individuals who spend more time on social media report higher levels of anxiety and depression. The curated highlight reels of others' lives can make us feel like we're not measuring up, leading to a vicious cycle of anxiety and low self-esteem. The physical effects of screen time. Physical symptoms can also arise from too much screen time, including eye strain, headaches, and neck pain. Known as tech neck, this condition results from looking down at devices for extended periods. These physical discomforts can further contribute to feelings of anxiety and stress, creating a loop where both physical and mental health suffer. Identifying problematic screen time habits. Subsection, recognizing the signs, how do you know if your screen time is affecting your mental health? Look out for signs such as feeling anxious or stressed when you're not online, difficulty concentrating on tasks without checking your phone, neglecting responsibilities or relationships due to screen time, physical symptoms like eye strain, headaches, or neck pain from prolonged device use, difficulty falling asleep or poor quality sleep, Feeling overwhelmed by the constant influx of information and notifications. Assessing your screen time. Take a moment to review your daily screen time. Many smartphones have built-in tools that track your usage. Are you surprised by the amount of time you spend on your devices? Use this information to identify patterns and pinpoint which activities or apps consume most of your time. Is it work-related, social media, gaming, or something else? Understanding your habits is the first step towards managing them. Psychological trigger. Identify what triggers your urge to reach for your phone or other devices. Is it boredom, stress, or the fear of missing out? FOMO. Recognizing these triggers can help you find healthier ways to cope with them, such as engaging in a hobby, practicing mindfulness, or simply taking a break. Practical strategies for reducing screen time. Setting boundaries. Establish clear boundaries for screen time. This could include setting specific times for checking emails or social media. For instance, designate certain hours in the morning and evening for these activities and stick to them. Creating tech-free zones in your home, like the bedroom or dining area. This encourages more meaningful interactions with family and friends and promotes the healthier living environment. Using apps that limit your time on certain applications, there are various apps available that can help you monitor and restrict your usage, such as Freedom, Stay Focused, or App Detox. Establishing a routine. Create a daily routine that limits screen time and includes a variety of activities. Start your day with something other than checking your phone, like stretching, meditating, or reading. Throughout the day, schedule breaks to step away from screens and engage in physical activity or hobbies. Engaging in offline activities. Find activities that don't involve screens. This could be reading a physical book. Immersing yourself in a good book can be a great way to relax and escape the digital world. 
going for a walk or engaging in outdoor activities. Fresh air and physical activity can do wonders for your mental health and reduce anxiety. Spending time with family and friends without digital interruptions. Plan activities like board games, cooking together, or simply having a tech-free conversation to strengthen your relationships and enjoy each other's company. Exploring creative hobbies like painting, drawing, or playing a musical instrument. These activities can be very fulfilling and provide a sense of accomplishment. Enhancing digital wellness. Mindful technology use. Practice mindfulness when using technology. This means being aware of how and why you're using your devices. Ask yourself, is this activity benefiting my well-being? How do I feel after spending time on this platform? Being mindful can help you make more intentional choices about your screen time and reduce mindless scrolling or binge watching. Digital Detox. Consider a digital detox where you take a break from screens for a set period. This could be a few hours each day, a whole day each week, or even a longer period. Use this time to reconnect with yourself and your surroundings. Engage in activities that you enjoy but often neglect due to screen time, such as hiking, drawing, playing a musical instrument, or gardening. Sleep Hygiene Improve your sleep hygiene by creating a bedtime routine that minimizes screen time. This can include setting a specific time to turn off all screens, ideally at least an hour before bed, reading a physical book or listening to calming music instead of watching TV or scrolling through your phone, keeping your bedroom dark and cool to promote better sleep, leveraging technology for good, apps for mental health. While technology can contribute to anxiety, it can also help manage it. There are numerous apps designed to support mental health, such as meditation and mindfulness apps like Headspace or Calm. These apps offer guided meditations, breathing exercises, and sleep aids that can help reduce stress and anxiety. Mood tracking apps to help you understand your emotional patterns. Apps like Dalio or MoodFit allow you to track your mood and identify triggers that affect your mental health. Apps that encourage physical activity, which can reduce anxiety. For example, my Fitness Ball or Nike Training Club offer workout plans and track your fitness progress, promoting a healthier lifestyle. Online support communities. The internet can also provide valuable support through online communities. Platforms like Reddit or specialized forums allow you to connect with others experiencing similar challenges, offering a sense of community and understanding. Participating in these communities can provide you with support, advice, and a feeling of not being alone in your struggles. Educational resources. Use technology to access educational resources that can help you manage anxiety. Websites, podcasts, and online courses can provide valuable information and strategies for coping with stress and improving mental health. Seek out reputable sources and experts in the field of mental health for reliable advice and guidance. Creating a balanced digital diet. Curating your digital consumption. Be selective about the content you consume. Follow accounts and subscribe to channels that inspire and uplift you, rather than those that contribute to anxiety or stress. Curate your social media feeds to include positive, educational, and entertaining content that aligns with your values and interests. Setting goals and limits. Set specific goals and limits for your screen time. For example, aim to reduce your daily screen time by 30 minutes each week until you reach a manageable level. Use screen time tracking apps to monitor your progress and hold yourself accountable. Encouraging family and friends. Encourage your family and friends to join you in your efforts to balance screen time and mental health. Share your goals and strategies with them and work together to create a supportive environment. Plan group activities that don't involve screens and hold each other accountable for sticking to your boundaries. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content on mental health and wellness. Let's navigate this digital world mindfully together. Until next time, take care and stay balanced.